maybe we can get to a point in society where we're like no more just blank walls and everything is just considered a place to be painted. That may be a dream for the future of our world, but for now, Chase McCurdy is just concentrating on covering blank walls in the historic West Side with messages of pride, beauty, history, and hope. He is the coordinator of the historic West Side Mural Project, a partnership between the City of Las Vegas, Department of Parks, Recreation and Cultural Affairs, and the Mayor's Fund for Las Vegas Life. We are standing literally uh, in front of the first murals that have been completed as a part of this project. Three murals located outside the West Las Vegas Art Center, a perfect spot in McCurdy's estimation for a project of this magnitude and importance. As we have been uh, identifying and uh, locations for future murals, we felt this a particular stretch of wall um, and its relationship to the Art Center, an amazing community institution, uh, the Kianga Isoke Palacio Park, and Doolittle Community Center in general. Baseball fields, softball fields are here. Uh, we felt it was a great opportunity to continue an already beautiful wall. As we walked the wall together, he pointed out the significance of each mural. This one by artist Michelle Graves, who used language in the boldness of black and red to send a message of struggles, strength, and perseverance. If you're like, oh man, like you have a lot of powerful things, generations, relationships, beloved, universe, strong, participate, community, souls, like all these things. So um, I just love it. Here, artist Yandre used locals as hand models to show the strength of diversity, not only in race, but an acceptance of all people. One, you see the historic West Side uh, spelled out in sign language, right? So for me, just the idea of spelling out historic West Side is fantastic. Uh, but two, you know, on a subtle level, just the strong black background for me is very emblematic of the, the backbone of this community. And in this one by artist X Darby, where you may get a message of, among other things, the importance of treasuring not only the differences, but the similarities among the generations. We see the two um, portraits of black women, one being a little bit younger, one skewing like a bit more uh, mature. But you see one side with the braids, another side with the flowing locks. You see the barrettes, you see the cowrie shells, and you know, there's a number of amazing, very subtle touches. We were here when X Darby started on this mural. McCurdy says she still has some final touches she wants to add, but basically, these three murals are the start of the project that will wrap up by summer, with three or four more works of art across the historic community before his tenure as project coordinator is over. Personally, a, a goal for me in my time with the city is to really just kickstart this and hopefully now in any new development, any redevelopment and just moving forward, there's always that thought of how we can integrate public art and mural art into really anything that we do. You never know how we can affect, you know, yes, someone's life, but even on a small level, someone's day, someone's moment. Nancy Byrne here. I hope you enjoyed that story. For more great stories about the city of Las Vegas, don't forget to click on that box.